Welcome back. Yes, Lily could be a countess. Well, David, hello. 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 Hello, hello, hello. hello. Well, we know the word now. Well, where we're... did it come from? <laughs> now, people have been meeting each other for as old as time is old. And yet, the word hello, H-E-L-L-O, is only about 140 years old. Is it really that recent? It's uh, quite an amazing story because before then, and looking at Shakespeare's plays, Ben Jonson's plays, Marlowe's, often the characters would greet each other with variations of hello. And it was H-A-L-L-O, or hello or holo, with a H O. -O. So it actually would have been a different sounding greeting, you know, three, four hundred years ago if someone met you in the street, you just, they actually wouldn't say hello. They wouldn't, but it would be uh, very similar to hello, and uh, HU is another variant, and it comes from a nautical idea of detaining someone, and also borrows from that verb uh, halt. It's halting someone in their tracks to say hello. Um, but the word hello itself, with the E, actually came about in the 1870s, and it was in tandem with the invention of the telephone. Now, in fact, we have a rare opportunity with a, a Scotsman playing the game tonight. When Alexander Graham Bell, who was a Scotsman, invented the phone in the 1870s, he was very keen on the idea of saying ahoy when you answered the phone. So, this so, is what, so not hello at all, ahoy. This is how it would have heard first in the 1870s. Ahoy. There you go. That's exactly how Alexander Graham Bell would have sounded it. Edison didn't like it. A lot of Americans didn't like it. And the word hello was the variation and became the, um, the default greeting. What about aloha over in Hawaii? Is that related? Amazingly, it's a linguistic uh, fluke, a coincidence. That comes from a Polynesian uh, group of languages and has been around for as long, if not longer, than hello. So, no, just a fluke. However, there is a, um, a rabid... Uh, American sect, a religious sect, who is very um, anti the word hello because it contains hell. And they are quite keen, <laughs> I wish them luck, on actually greeting people heaven -o. I just don't like their uh, chances. <laughs> slim chance. That's exactly Great right. bit of history, David. Thank you very much. Let's have a look at some uh, more words now. Our next letters game. And uh, Ken, you to choose again, please. Yes, Lily, uh, could I have a, uh, a vowel? Thanks, Ken. A. Followed by another vowel. I. Followed by another vowel. O. And then followed by a consonant. D. Another consonant. R. Uh, another consonant. T. Uh, a vowel. E. Another consonant. S. And finish with a consonant. And... Lastly, G. Thank you, Lily. I'll start the clock. How many for you? Uh, six at time, Richard. Six, Colin? Uh, seven. Let's start with your six, please, Ken. Adroit. And yours, Colin? Um, goiters. Goiters. Interesting condition. Interesting condition, but a very profitable word. Good seven. And in fact, Ken, you need to uh, transcend from that uh, temptation to find a word in the first five or six. You did that with fines, and in fact, when those other letters came along, suddenly there were things like Godisha, Stodgia, and the one that I loved, because it sounds a little bit like my name, Asteroid, for eight. Asteroids, lovely, David. But what, uh, Godisha, now, I, I, I've never heard that word. What is it? It's a flower, but I, don't ask me to identify it between uh, that and the nasturtium. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a botanist, but I am a, a wordsmith. It's got petals, it's pretty. It's got eight letters. And it's got eight <laughs> letters. That's the really important part. Well done, David. But also well done to Colin, seven points. Uh, Ken's on 12, Colin, 24. Let's have some more letters, and uh, this time, Colin, they're yours. Thank you. Uh, can I have a consonant, please? Thanks, Colin. M. And another one, please. S. And a vowel. A. And another vowel. E. And a consonant. P. And another consonant. L. And another consonant. S. And a vowel. I. And a final vowel, please. And 
Last letter, E. And here's the clock. with yours, please, Ken. Uh, Pleasers, P-L-E-A-S-E-S. And Colin? Uh, samples. Samples. They both sound good, David. And Ken's word pleases me. Well played, Ken. It's a lovely seven. And it is the, that trick of looking beyond the first block of five. And those words were there. Uh, so was Aimless, a little tribute to Melissa, who was on the show a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Very nice work. Well done, though. Colin and Ken both scored seven points in that round. More number wrangling. And, uh, Ken, what combination would you like? Lily, could I have uh, four small and uh, two large, please? Thanks, Ken. That's two large and four small. And starting with the smalls, three, six, nine, ten, and the two large, 75 and 50. And the target to reach is 965. A big one. number selection on the show. How did you go? How close? Uh, it's a bit hard. I got 9.54. 9.54, just yeah, outside yeah. the scoring zone, unfortunately. But uh, Colin, what about you? Um, hopefully 9.65. 9.65 on the target. Well done. How did you get there? Um, 9 plus 6 plus 3. 9 plus 6 plus 3. It's 18. Yep. 18 times 50. By is 50. 900. 900. Um, plus 75. Plus the 75. Where's the 10? Take the 10 is 965. Well done, Colin. Well, it's the working of a fine mind, isn't it, Lily? Yeah. It was did your mind work the same way? Um, it did. It was a good solution. Yeah, it was a great, uh, a great solution. So well done, Colin. 10 points. Ken's on 19. Colin is now on 41. As we have another brief break and another word mix. Ale board. And the clue this time, a cute explorer. See you very soon.